What's going on everybody? It's your boy Troy coming at you with some information fresh out of the oven with GTA 5 Rockstar Free Mode. Unreal. What's going on? What's free mode? I thought the world was already in free mode. No, not this kind of free mode. This kind of free mode eliminates loading screens. <gasps> wow, is that true? Yeah, that's true. Rockstar Free Mode, man. Launches September 15th. How does it get rid of loading screens though? That's like impossible. What's GTA 5 Online without loading screens? Let me tell you what it is. Rockstar created 13 new events and two new adversary events modes, I guess. And what happens is, randomly during your game, an event will just kick off, just start. One of the 13 new events, and these aren't just average events. Here's an example, penned in. One of the big ones, one of the ones they featured in their trailer. Penned in, there's this dome around all the people participating. Like this, it's You can go through the dome because the point of the game is to stay within the dome. If you get caught outside of the dome, bye, you're out, you're out of the game, you lose your money. You know, too bad, so sad. So the goal is to stay, you're all in vehicles, I believe, and the dome starts out big and furiously starts shrinking and your goal is to stay in that dome as long as possible and in the end win because you're the last one in there so don't go outside the dome or you're gonna get freaking blown up and thrown into outer space and they're gonna take all your money and you're gonna have to buy game cards so yeah no it won't actually happen you just you'll probably still get money but you're not gonna get as much as the winner because the winner is elite that's one of the game modes out of 13 another one that i'm gonna um talk about because this is this seemed pretty cool was uh kill list and it, i don't really know why it's called kill list because how it works is you're assigned a vehicle i don't know what kind of vehicle if it's one of your personal vehicles or just just random gta 5 vehicle i don't know but you're assigned a vehicle and with that vehicle you have to survive countless waves of enemies how do you do that i don't know it sounds insane like do you like throw sticky bombs do you fire like submachine guns for like all the rounds or like I don't know how that works that's gonna be insane I can't wait to play that one um, another one that I thought was really cool king of the castle or something I don't know what the exact name is you can read in the article I'll put the article down in the description but king of the castle you have this all these players and you have to rush this building and the person that takes control of the building is the king and the longer you maintain control of the building the longer you maintain that king rank is the more points you get and everyone else's goal is to kill you so that they can take over as king and get more points and whoever at the end of the game whoever has more points wins obviously that's how it works right cool another the two adversary modes let me touch down on these two adversary modes adversary modes if you don't know um i think those are the pvp missions right for martin madrazo we're a team against team um the two new ones are hunting pack Hunting pack is when one team is assigned to a vehicle rigged with explosives and all this cool stuff. And the only way it detonates, not the only way, that's, that's a bad way to put it. The way it detonates is if you drop below the speed limit that they set. So let's say they spent the, like this is not true, but let's say they uh, set it at 30 miles an hour. That's, if you go under 30 miles an hour, boom, it's over, you're done, bye, go play another game. But that's not all. Not only do you have to worry about the speed limit, you have to worry about the other team, which is bumping into you, ramming into you, trying to slow you down. That, that, that's, her, that's their whole goal, is to slow you down so you can't deliver the vehicle. So now you have to worry about speed limit, so you have to keep speeding the whole time. And you also have to avoid a whole team of players. That's insane. So, yeah, that's going to take a lot of teamwork. So these game, these game modes that they've been releasing on September 15th, it's going to be teamwork. So if, you, if you've been bored on GTA 5, prepare to be unbored because this is freaking awesome. And the big, the big one that people are really excited about is that they're bringing Rockstar Editor and Director Mode over to PS4 and Xbox One. Awesome. No more just PC. This is freaking huge. People are going to... The Rockstar Editor is awesome. And now it's going to be on current gen. Crazy. Perfect. And they're updating it, so you can put Snapmatic photos in there, you can put sound effects in there from a library of sound effects that they added. It's going to be unreal, so be prepared for to make awesome montages. 
and another adversary mode i forgot to touch down i always forget this one cross the line cross the line is when there's two heavily armed teams in a neutral zone and your goal is to strategically the word they used strategically get your team onto their side to cross their line once your whole team is on their side you win just just like that so these whole all these game modes seem really cool it's going to completely changed my view of GTA 5. I'm kind of bored right now, but this I'm going to have so much fun with this. Um, I know you will too, so check that out September 15th. Uh, I'll bring you guys some gameplay, so if you want to stick around, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment. I love comments, and I will talk to you guys next time. Later. Oh my god, fuck, oh my god, that was sick.